What's up guys, Matt here at MH Performance. Uh, as you can see, we're uh, doing our valve clearance check, so otherwise you know it's valve lashing. Uh, so what we have is our specs here. Uh, we've got an intake valve clearance, 0.22 to 0.28, and then our exhaust valve clearance, uh, 0.27 to 0.33. That's all uh, metric. Uh, normal is 25 and 30. Obviously in the perfect world, you'd have it set to that, but again, it's time consuming, and let's face it, we're we're going to be putting in the 420 cams at some point, so we'll save the uh, the fucking about with swapping out uh, various different thickness buckets to bring it back into there. So in the meantime, we're just measuring to make sure it's in with this range here. Uh, we've got one that's uh, raised a bit of a question. Um, it's uh, 0 0.01 of a millimeter uh, too tight. Uh, so what I think is when Kate and I'm actually building the heads on these because they do options with various different valves, springs, uh, uh, cams and stuff like that. I think their thick, their feeler gauge is a little bit different from ours. Uh, the way I do my valve clearance checks as I've done on motorbikes and whatnot is we'll use an actual uh, micrometer to actually confirm the thickness of the gauge. We're not just go by, you know, that's not, we're gonna go by Gossible, that is the actual size. We don't use digital calibers because they always round it up uh, and it's just bad practice. So old fashioned micrometer confirming what that is. So we'll just give you a quick little demonstration of how we actually measure the valve clearances. Obviously the engine has to be stone cold. We make a note of the temperature. Uh, the ambient temperature is a chilly 9.5 degrees. Obviously we've got today's date when we're doing the work. Uh, so obviously we need to rotate the camshaft so the lobe is 180 degrees out from the bucket face. Now this is a two litre Duratec so they have solid lifters, they don't have hydraulics. Now the way hydraulic uh, buckets work is that you maintain zero valve clearance. Uh, it's, noise, it's less noisy, uh, there's less maintenance involved in it. Uh, and it's a more modern design, but you find all racing motor, motorsport racing applications they have solid lifters because you can rev it harder, rev it higher. More importantly, uh, is uh, in my mind it is a better idea having solid lifters. But again, it costs the customer more time and maintenance actually getting all these things checked at your uh, service intervals. Yes, the engine's done less than four thousand miles, but after. Uh, the the engineer and me i want to make sure that everything is correct if it's under my bonnet it needs to be right as i say it all the time so we've got cylinder one here uh, cams 180 degrees away from the bucket faces so what we're just going to demonstrate real quick i've already confirmed the uh, the sizes i'm not going to do that because uh, i've got one hand holding the front here so we've got here i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up we've got 0.15 0 0.07 0 0.06 so we will use try and do this with one hand very difficult we're going to use 0 0.15 and 0 0.06 and that will give us our 0 0.21 millimeter gap or thickness should i say so not easy with one hand here's a little tip for you guys uh, you see there's always a bit of oil in the bottom of the rocker the rocker well just uh or the camshaft well, should I say. dip in a bit of oil and then you just slide it in between the cam and the actual bucket and as you can see you drag that's quite nice so 0.21 is certainly what we have here so you keep going up the scale until it don't go in and then you go back a scale confirm that it still goes back in and then that is your size. So we'll swap out the 0 0.06 for a 0 0.07 with one hand. Very difficult, but there we go. We'll make it work. 0 0.21, don't go in. No bueno. 0 0.21 goes in there quite nicely. Now, there's a skill and it comes with experience of the drag that you can feel on the, uh, on the feeler gauge. You know, you shouldn't be able to tow a car with a feeler gauge uh, between the cam and the bucket because that would be too tight. But just a light bit of friction, you know, that's all it is. Just a light bit of friction. Same again when you're measuring things with varying, uh, with digital, uh, well, I can't even speak right now, with uh, micrometers. It's all about a feel for the drag between, you know, the probe and the actual end. So, like we said, 0.21 don't go in. Uh, sorry, 0.21 goes in there, but 0.22 goes in there. So yeah, there's just a little uh, an insight into valve lashing. Also guys, once you finish with your uh, your thickness gauge, leave them oily. Uh, 
because obviously uh, they're, they're steel, they will rust, and obviously if it rusts, it expands, and then it's no longer fit for purpose. So yeah, leave them in oil, keep them in a plastic bag, and just keep them out of uh, keep them dry. Uh, so as I was saying, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go into more details. Uh, let's face it, when we ultimately do the 420 cams, uh, we're going to have to re uh, check all the bar clearances again anyway, uh, and then we're going to probably have to swap out various different thickness buckets because they come into various different sizes you get kits uh, Burton Power I think does them uh, I'm not sure if Ford does them or not but uh, you get various different thicknesses to bring everything back into the clearance range which is obviously here but the way I do things I want it bang on that's a nominal 0 0.25 0 0.30 that's the way I'm gonna set it uh, it takes a bit of time but again you reap the rewards uh, too big a clearance it's noisy you get a noisy tappity sound, uh, too tight a clearance, the valve ain't shutting properly. Uh, obviously there are consequences to that, if the valve's just ever so slightly proud, you're going to be losing, a bit, or the valve might be leaking ever so slightly. Uh, consequences of that, you could burn the valve, uh, or you know, you're know you getting uh, a backfire coming through the intake, uh, obviously if it was the intake leaking. Um, and if it's excessive, uh, the piston starts tapping it. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, stay tuned guys, uh, there'll be more content coming soon.